Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Oh, man. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Hi. Yes, you're late, Molly. Sit down, please. Back in your seat. Oh, man. Where is everybody? Well, Molly, the other three students are home with a stomach bug. Oh, yuck. But, you know, the stomach bug doesn't sound so bad if you get to miss science class. <laughs> I like science class. Uh-huh. You would. Molly, don't be mean to Brookie. I'm not. I'm just teasing her. Okay, Christmas is over. No more slacking. All right, everyone, please take out your homework. Homework? Hom homework? But we just got back from Christmas break. Yeah, like a week ago. Where have you been, Molly? Um, she's been here. Well, sort of. Physically, she's here. Mentally, she's somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, very funny, Daisy. Okay, Molly. Well, I guess you're going to be sitting with me in detention again. You do know that I have a life, Molly, and I don't want to sit in detention with you all the time, right? Oh, come on. Don't make me have Mr. Don't make... I can't even talk. I'm so frazzled. Don't make me have detention, please. Please, please. They should have a, a seat engraved with your name on it in detention, Molly. Molly's detention seat. I could see it now. It could be written right here on the back of your seat. Very funny, Daisy. Okay, well, Molly, if you don't have your homework, then take out a piece of paper and start writing these uh, answers down so you can study from them. Okay. Hey, Daisy, can I borrow a piece of paper? Ay, yeah, yeah, fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready with my pen and paper. I don't understand why Molly never does her homework. I know, Daisy, right? Like, she's just going to end up with attention. What is she thinking? I wonder that myself every day. Okay, so as we can see from your science book, page 105, the answer to number three is C. Can anyone tell me why? Molly? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Molly's taking a nap again. Okay, Daisy... Oh, there's the bell. Okay, class is dismissed. <laughs> you guys know we have a short class today because we're going to have an assembly later, right? Oh, boy, an assembly. Should we just leave Molly here? Yeah, she'll wake up eventually. Maybe some, like, smarts will go into her brain through osmosis. Good luck with that. Molly, Molly, wake up. It's no use, Daisy. She's not going to wake up. I have an idea to find out what Molly's actually thinking. You do? Hmm. I don't know about this. <laughs> what do you mean? My science experiments, experiments are amazing, Bookie. Remember the last time you made that huge explosion? Yeah, but that's not... I mean, I've come a long way as a scientist since then. Even if I am still an amateur. Okay, I guess I'll go along with it. Perfect, because the teacher went to the faculty room, which means we have his science room all to ourselves. <laughs> okay, that sounded a little creepy. Oh boy, Molly, you have no idea what you're in for. Are you sure about this, Daisy? The potion is prepared. All we have to do is each drink half of this bottle of the potion. We will shrink down and we can go inside Molly's head. Finally figure out why she acts so crazy all the time. Oh, I don't know about this. It sounds sort of crazy and dangerous. Hey, you're supposed to be one of my best friends, Bookie. Do you trust me or not? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Click, 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 click. I don't feel anything yet. I'm sure I will in a minute, though. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, I feel 
little strange. I'm slinking! <laughs> it's working! I'm shrinking too, I think. Or am I getting bigger? I'm not sure. Nope. Definitely shrinking! She really does have a giant head. Yeah, let's just see if there's actually anything in it. Whoa, look at this, Brookie. It's Brookhaven, but everything's made of candy. Oh, this just figures Molly would love something like this. A car made out of candy and, and cotton candy. Houses made out of every candy you could imagine. Lollipops, M&Ms, mm, gingerbread, too. Mmm, Molly has some delicious things going on in her brain. Look at those! Peppermint... Wait, what? What's that? Is that a... Is that what I... I think it's a... It's what I think it is, isn't it? It's a zombie! There's tons of zombies everywhere! Why would Molly have zombies in her brain? Probably because she didn't want anyone to actually steal any of her candy. <sighs> Oh, so she thinks that all the inhabitants of Brookhaven are actually moochie zombies? That's right. That's all she really thinks of us is somebody who steals her candy. Well, we shouldn't just assume that. We don't know. Mm, delicious. Do you think that it'll cause some sort of, well, brain fart if we eat some of the candy in Molly's brain? Nah, I'm sure Molly will be just fine. <laughs> What was that? I think we can hear when Molly snores or when she talks. Whoa, weird. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't eat too much of the candy. We don't want to accidentally eat her last brain cell. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I'm in Molly's brain. Um, no, you are a figment of her imagination. We're in Molly's brain. There's a big difference. This is all very confusing. Okay, well, let's head out over to s some of the other places in town and see what else Molly's thinking about. Besides the fact that she thinks we're all zombies trying to steal her candy. <sighs> ah, the pool is made out of hot cocoa. <laughs> Wee! I have to admit, Molly's brain is kind of fun. Ooh. <laughs> but still, we're trying to find out the answers of why she never does her homework. What can we find? There's got to be some reason for this. Wow, <laughs> lots of people are really bad drivers in Molly's mind. That figures. Hey, is that Luke in the ice cream shop? Wait, Luke is in Molly's mind? Are you serious? Maybe she has a crush on him. Don't be ridiculous, I'm sure she doesn't. Let's go find out why he's here though. Oh, hi, D hi Daisy, hi, hi Brookie. Hi Luke, what are you doing in Molly's mind? Oh, <laughs> We're going on a date today. We're meeting at the ice cream shop. <laughs> That's where I am, the ice cream shop. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Molly's just so beautiful and smart and, and funny. What? This can't be true. Molly has a crush on Luke? Well, judging by the fact that Luke is sitting in the ice cream shop in her mind, waiting to have a date with her, I would say yes, most definitely. Luke, do you actually want to date Molly? Or are you just Molly's imagination? I'm not really sure what I am, but all I know is I'm supposed to meet Molly here for a date. It is Molly that wants the date. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yuck! Molly is in love with Luke. Ew, gross! Really? You think it's kind of gross? I thought maybe they'd be kind of a cute couple. Ugh, yucky! Let's head over to the school and see what's going on in there because obviously Molly has problems with school. If you see Molly, tell her I love her. She's amazing. Uh huh, sure. Get a job! Wow, harsh Daisy. Well, he's gonna need to buy lots of candy and flowers for Molly. What's this? A, a science class? Actually, no, I, I'm not sure if it's our science class. It, it looks kind of, well, very different. Yeah, it totally does. And where's our teacher? The principal has locked everyone inside the school. And I'm Mrs. Crazy. <laughs> well, now we know what Molly's afraid of. And we know what Molly has been thinking about with school. Absolutely. Lava on the floor. 
Oh my gosh, Molly, how could you put us through this? Brookie? Brookie! Ah! I'm burning in the lava! Ow! Molly, your mind is so cruel! Me too! Ouch! Oh my gosh, are we gonna survive this? Oh good, if we die inside Molly's mind, we don't uh, actually die outside of it, I hope. I hope not, because I've already died twice! I'm gonna be a zombie, I just know it. Don't freak out, Daisy. We ha we have to keep calm. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, Molly's brain is just a maze of scary. You got this, Daisy. Thanks, Bookie. You really are a great friend. The cafeteria is falling apart. Oh my gosh, this would be da Molly's worst nightmare, Daisy. I mean, she would hate it if all the food went to waste. <laughs> yes, is that the truth? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> huh? What? The science class over? Oh my gosh! I think she's actually waking up! I know! I heard that too! Okay, um... Well, we gotta escape really quickly? This is a never-ending maze! What are we gonna do? Maybe we should go back the way we came. Do you know the way out? Um, not really. Oh no! I think we're doomed! No, I think we can just... Follow the donut crumbs. I mean, pfft, Molly surely has left those. Good idea. Let's turn around, backtrack, and get out of this school before it's too late. Where are we, Bookie? Well, at least we're not in that scary school anymore with Mrs. Crazy. Yeah, but it's like we're not anywhere we've been before. It looks like a pet store. Well, we don't have one of those in Brookhaven, so I guess Molly made up one in her mind. Oh my gosh, look at all the animals! This must be Molly's happy place. Except for the snakes. Avoiding the snakes! Aw, oh, look at the little turtles. Aw, oh, it looks like it's Molly's dream to own her own pet. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. I guess my sister has a lot of reasons why she's not paying attention in school. She's thinking about candy and zombies and boyfriends and scary schools and... Wow, there's a lot going on in her brain. Huh? huh? Is science class over? Look, Molly's about to wake up. Come on, Daisy, we have to go out of there. Out of her brain, right now, I mean. Good idea, Bookie. I don't know what will happen if she wakes up. She might actually know we're in here. That would be very bad. Come on, let's get out of here. Holy guacamole, that was crazy. Adele, right? Wait a minute, Daisy. You're still really small. What happened? What? Oh my gosh, I've shrunk forever! OMG, this isn't good, Daisy. This isn't good at all. Hey, wh what's going on? Daisy, why are you so tiny? Yay! Oh my gosh, finally, after four long weeks of staring at this computer. Ah, I'm so happy. What is it, Mom? You're totally freaking out. Yay, yay, yay. I finally found a job, and it's the job of my dreams. Okay, I have a few questions about this new job. Okay, what are they? One, do they pay you money? Of course, Molly, it's a job. <laughs> I'm going to get paid money, and I really like the job. Two, are they going to pay you lots of money? Yes, they're going to pay me tons of money. I'm excited too because we can finally go to the ice cream shop again because you have a job and not poor anymore. Yeah, isn't it great? This job's going to be so cool. How do you know, Mom, if you've never worked there before? Molly, seriously, do not interrupt my dance party. Wow, my mom dance is so weird. Speak for yourself, Molly. I am so hip and cool. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, Mom. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, girls, time to go get ready for bed. <laughs> I have to get her up early for my new job tomorrow. But, Mom, it's still daylight out. I don't care. Time for bed. Everybody upstairs. Come on, come on. Oh, my gosh. My mom's gone crazy about this new job. <laughs> She's sending me to bed already. Well, I guess I should go to the bathroom. Wait a minute. I'm in the wrong room. Oopsie. Where am I? I'm so lost right now. Oh, wait. This is my house. I shouldn't be lost. Ah, <sighs> that's better. La, 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 la. I finally get to go to the ice cream shop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got a new job. I got a new job. Woohoo! Mom, are you jumping on the bed? No, 
Not me. <laughs> Never. Wee. <laughs> My mom has gone completely insane. I just gotta um get some water in the sink so that I can brush my teeth, put on my pajamas, and it's time for bed. Wonder what new job my mom got. I forgot to ask her. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find out in the morning. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Oh my gosh, my sister always falls asleep like the minute her head hits the pillow. Not me. I'm usually awake for a long time. I stare at the ceiling sometimes. Boring. Sometimes I count sheep. One, two, also boring. Then I decide to do something really crazy to my sister. Like this. Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> what? what? What was that? It sounded like a ghost. Molly, wake up, Molly. Huh, what? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> ah, I think I might be kind of an evil sister. Is everybody? Everyone knows we have math class this morning. Wait, am I am I wrong? Did you, did I have a different class to start out? Oh man, I went to the wrong classroom. Oh man, I'm gonna be terrible at school forever. It was English I was supposed to go to. Oopsie. Uh, Molly, you're late. Sorry, I was actually in school, but I was over in the math room. I mean, sorry I'm late. Molly, if you're late again, she's gonna keep giving you detention. I know, I didn't mean to. I, I accidentally went to the math class instead of English. Oopsie. Um, thanks for letting me go to the bathroom, Mrs. Smith. I really had to go. No problem, Daisy. Okay, Molly, take out your book, please. We're going to be reading Shakespeare today. Shakespeare? More like boring spear. Molly, that didn't even make sense. Sorry, nothing really rhymes with Shakespeare, so. Where's my book? I can't find Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought maybe I lost it. Oh, that would be such a tragedy. <laughs> Molly, you're being so naughty. <laughs> Sorry, this class really bores me when we read Shakespeare. Molly, shh. I'm trying to be a good student. So, Molly, um, do you want to like go to the park or something after school? Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. Molly, please just stop disrupting the class. You're being loud by talking to your friend. And I don't want to have to tell you again that you could get detention if you keep doing it. Okay, okay. Now open up your book again and start reading. Fine. Spooky. What we, should we do at the park? Should we go swimming or just swing on the swings? Or We should do it all, Molly. I could run home and get my bathing suit if you want. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, Molly, I've had enough. That's it. You have to go to the principal's office. What? But I was just talking for a second. I gave you a warning and you didn't listen. And I heard our new principal is very strict and mean. Got a new principal? What happened to Mr. Grumpmiser? What? That's not his name. Uh, yeah, that's just what y'all call him. Because <laughs> he was really old. Well, he retired. Oh, wow. I thought maybe he died. No, not yet. But maybe in a couple years. <laughs> he did fart a lot. Molly, go to the principal's office. I can't deal with you today. Okay. Attention, Brookhaven High, attention. Molly is going to be going to the principal's office. Molly to the principal's office. Oh, man. Now it's time to do the walk of shame. <sighs> well, hopefully this new principal isn't too mean. Hello, it's Molly reporting for principal's duty. Go ahead, take a seat, please. Mom? Is that you? Molly? Are you at the principal's office again? Why are you at the principal's office? Oh god, they called you, didn't they? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in school suspension! No, Molly, this is my new job. I am the principal. Oh! Uh, Molly? Molly? Oh no! My mom's the principal! Twice as many punishments! Uh. Molly, get up, please. You need to talk to me about what happened in the classroom. Oh, no. Have a seat, please. Okay, so, um, we were reading Shakespeare, thought it was really boring, and I was talking to Brookie. Did your teacher give you a warning? Uh, well, uh, Molly? Yeah? Oh, and you kept on doing it, disrupting the class from learning? Yeah? Okay, Molly, to the detention room. And I want you to write on the board... 
I will be good a million times. But Mr. Grumpmeister only made me do it one or two times. Who? Oh, man. A million times, Molly. Now get going. Fine. Oh, this is the worst ever. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. Oh, this is horrible. I literally can't believe my mom's the principal. She's a terrible principal. Uh, what did you just say? Huh, what? Ah, I didn't know you were behind me. You're the sneakiest principal on the planet. Molly, I think you need to write I will be good two million times. Oh, man. Get going, Molly. I hope you don't get any hand cramps. Oh, I will be good. I will be good. I hate the principal. <laughs> oh, I better erase that before she comes back. I will be good. <laughs> what was that you just had on the board, Molly? Nothing. Um, principal mom person? I don't know what to call you when I'm at school. I will be good. Okay, well, keep writing, Molly. You have a long way to go. Bye, mom principal person. Huh. <sighs> Finally, I finished all those all those writings on the board for detention. Maybe you won't do that again, will you, Molly? Okay, class. <laughs> it's almost time to go home. Attention, attention. Oh, it sounds like there's an announcement from the principal. Everyone listen up, please. Oh, this ought to be good. Mom principal is evil. Molly, how rude. Wait a minute. Did you say mom principal? Daisy, mom is our principal. Yeah, white right, Molly. Don't believe you, whatever. It's her new job. Seriously, Daisy. She's the principal. Wait, what? Are you being serious? Okay, everyone. I want everyone to report to the bathrooms with your toothbrushes. There is a lot of mess to clean up, and we're going to start with scrubbing the toilets. Everyone should expect to be at the school an extra two hours. What? That sounded awful a lot like Mom's voice. I'm telling you, Mom's the new principal and she's insane. Yeah, I think she might be a really horrible principal. Stay after school for two hours to scrub the toilets with toothbrushes? Oh, no. This is the new job she was talking about, Daisy. Well, I guess we better get to the bathrooms. We need to figure out a way to get Mom fired from this job. Seriously. Oh, man. Scrubbing the toilet with my toothbrush? Gross.